in telecommunications, particularly in radio, signal strength refers to the magnitude of the electric field at a reference point that is at a significant distance from the transmitting antenna. It may also be referred to as received signal level or field strength. Typically, it is expressed in voltage per length or signal power received by a reference antenna. High powered transmissions, such as those used in broadcasting, are expressed in decibel millivolts per meter. For very low power systems, such as mobile phones, signal strength is usually expressed in decibel microvolts per meter or in decibels above a reference level of 1 milliwatt. In broadcasting terminology, 1 megavolt per meter is 1000 microvolt m or 60 d bar micron. Examples 100 d bar micron or 100 megavolts per meter. Blanketing interference may occur on some receivers, 60 d bar micron or 1.0 megavolt per meter, frequently considered the edge of a radio station's protected area in North America, 40 d bar micron or 0.1 megavolts per meter. The minimum strength at which a station can be received with acceptable quality on most receivers. Relationship to average radiated power, the electric field strength at a specific point can be determined from the power delivered to the transmitting antenna, its geometry and radiation resistance. Consider the case of a Brewer distribution is essentially sinusoidal and the radiating electric field is given by. Where is the angle between the antenna axis and the vector to the observation point? Is the peak current at the feed point, is the permittivity of free space, is the speed of light in a vacuum, and is the distance to the antenna in meters. When the antenna is viewed broadside the electric field is maximum and given by. Solving this formula for the peak current yields. The average power to the antenna is. Where is the center-fed half-wave antenna Euro unregistered trademark S radiation resistance? Substituting the formula for into the one for and solving for the maximum electric field yields. Therefore, if the average power to a half wave dipole antenna is 1 megawatt, then the maximum electric field at 313M is 1 megavolt per meter. For a short dipole, the current distribution is nearly triangular. In this case, the electric field and radiation resistance are using a procedure similar to that above. The maximum electric field for a center-fed short dipole is cell phone signals. Although there are cell phone-based station tower networks across many nations globally, there are still many areas within those nations that do not have good reception. Some rural areas are unlikely ever to be effectively covered since the cost of erecting a cell tower is too high for only a few customers. Even in high reception areas it is often found that basements and the interiors of large buildings have poor reception. Weak signal strength can also be caused by destructive interference of the signals from local towers in urban areas, or by the construction materials used in some buildings causing rapid attenuation of signal strength. Large buildings such as warehouses, hospitals and factories often have no usable signal further than a few meters from the outside walls. This is particularly true for the networks which operate at higher frequency since these are attenuated more rapidly by intervening obstacles, although they are able to use reflection and diffraction to circumvent obstacles. Equals estimated received signal strength equals, the estimated received signal strength in a mobile device can be estimated as follows. More general you can take the path loss exponent into account. If the mobile device is at cell radius distance from the cell tower the received power is estimated as minus 113 dBm. The effective path loss is depending on the frequency, the topography, and the environmental conditions. Actually one could use any known signal power dBmO at any distance or O as a reference. Equals number of decades equals, would give an estimate of the number of decades which coincides with an average path loss of 40 decibels decade. Equals estimate the cell radius equals, when we measure cell distance at and received power dBmm pairs, then we can estimate the mean cell radius as follows. Specialized calculation models exist to plan the location of a new cell tower, taking into account local conditions and radio equipment parameters. Take also into consideration that mobile radio signals have line of sight propagation, and less reflection would occur. See also, cell fee, cell network, cell phone, cellular repeater, dropped call, 
dead zone, field strength in free space, received signal strength indication, S meter, signal, mobile phone signal, mobile coverage. References External links <laughs>